Today's video is on the flintlock. Now, the flintlock was a key mechanism of warfare. It quickly replaced doglock, wheellock, and matchlock weapons on the battlefield. The first flintlock was created by a Frenchman, whose name I forget, but it was created for King Louis XIII, as far as I remember. It was based on the Spanish Michelet lock or mechanism. This weapon is a Mortimer flintlock shotgun. You'll see how the mechanism works. The flint, which is clamped into the hammer, falls upon the trigger being pulled. The flint collides with a frizzen, which is that steel plate up there, and basically the sparks are created by the impact, which then fall into a pan, the flash pan there, and ignite the powder, which in turn ignites the main charge firing the weapon. By 1630, the flintlock was all over Europe and was being widely used. Flintlocks were very popular with parliamentarian troops in the English Civil War, and by 1650, breech-loading flintlocks had been developed. A poorly napped flint, or wet powder, would mean you'd get a misfire, so if it was a rainy day, or it was damp out even, you could expect swords to still be used. On many rifles, a steel butt plate was actually fitted for clubbing the enemy to death with. These are more common on the earlier models because the bayonet soon replaced those. The main danger with all powder weapons was the powder itself and all the risks it provided. Often barrels got so dirty the operator failed to pack the round tight enough down into the bore, and that's known as short starting, which was when the failure to pack the round tight enough with the load left a gap of air. This led to an explosion quite often which rendered the weapon useless and sometimes would kill the operator if a barrel would simply explode because of the pressure created. Corrosion was also a huge threat to the barrel and anyone who's done black powder shooting will know it's extremely corrosive. They were even used in the American Civil War. The Army of Tennessee for instance, as far as I'm aware, deployed over 2,000 flintlock muskets. And as I said in my previous matchlock video, firearms of old have had a very large impact on the English language, terms like going off half cocked for instance, the mechanism could be faulty and go off at half cocked, which was supposed to be, you know, a safety of sorts. The flint allegedly wasn't actually raised back far enough to create a spark if it went off from the half cocked position, though this wasn't actually the case at all and the weapon would fire quite often if it went off from the half cocked position. Other phrases such as flash in the pan and from the flint locks especially, lock, stock and barrel, they all come from the days of powder shooting. Flintlocks were the main weapons of the powder era, and to my mind are still wonderful firearms to watch and to use. They are an important part of history, and they've helped shape the world as we know it. That's been all for this video. It was a little longer than the matchlock video. I may have gotten carried away there, but it's easy to do that when you're talking about something you enjoy, so let's not worry about it too much. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have time, please look up my Facebook page. It's Alex Rosebeer Photography, okay? Thanks for watching.